Welcome to the project demonstration of wireless power transmission to uh, electrical vehicles charging. So here we are implementing wireless power transmission with hybrid power. So what one is uh, wind power generation and solar. So coming to the ratings. So we are using 12 volt 20 watts wind power generator and 12 volt 20 watts solar power. So these two sources voltage will be given as input to this battery. So you are using uh, nickel cadmium battery and which is a rechargeable battery of 12 volts and this will get power supply from the solar panel through this charge circuit as well as from the wind through this charge circuit and also we are going to charge a battery with 230 volts AC input also so means we are providing hybrid power source input to charge one battery so in this battery pack we can see the three batteries are connected in series each battery of 3.7 volts of 2500 milliamps so we are connecting them as in series so we will get 11.1 .1. so it's max, the minimum voltage maximum is 13.5 volts we can get from this battery and once the battery is fully charged so let us take so if you get the full continuously 12 volts from this wind it will take 12 hours at the same time from the solar 12 hours and from this transformer it will take 8 hours to be fully charged so there's a time for charging this battery and once it's fully charged we can uh, switch on this power supply main switch so whenever these two lights are then only we can uh, indicate we have the indication of the uh, power is transmitting through this transmitter coil so as we can see the center tab section so whenever we switch on this circuit so this switch the 12 volts given as main input to these two MOSFETs and with the help of this L and C so L is a inductor C is a capacitor LC circuit will generate the oscillations and that particular oscillations will switch on on and off these two MOSFETs so that same power from this battery as input to the transmitter coil and when we place the another receiver coil so there we can see the receiver coil is placed underneath this vehicle and the receiver coil will be induced as whenever we provided the pulse voltage as AC voltage to this copper coil then as it will generate the EMF that's uh, electromagnetic force and that uh, electromagnetic mutual force will be induced with uh, to this secondary coil of this copper coil and that voltage with same frequency given as input to the charging circuits so there we can see one more charging circuit which will convert the with the help of these four diodes we are going to converting AC to DC and after that the DC voltage will be given to this battery so here we are using 12 volt 1 amp battery here also we can see three batteries are connected in series each battery of 12 volt 1 amp and are connected in series with the remaining uh, two so we get 12 volts 1 amp and these are the switches to be controlled for the vehicle in four directions so just so forward backward right and the left okay so in this manner we can control the four directions for this vehicle and if you want to charge a battery from uh, transformer this 230 volts input just give the 230 volts input to this one and then we can see the charging light is on so it's indicated as we are charging the battery from the transformer and next if you want to charge a battery from the wind so whenever we get the wind so this will rotates and we can see the same light is indicated on this charge circuit and if you place a solar panel under the sunlight as we can see the slightly is on because due to this tubelet also we are getting a little bit voltage as we can see the light is bit intensity on so let us see the demonstration so as we can see that in this distance also the transmitter coil transmitting and receiving coil is receiving so when it is right so it is fully on it means now the vehicle battery is charging with the help of wireless power transmission right it will be slowly off again right